Hi guys, thank you for joining me again. Um, in this video, part 8 of the series Fairies and Bunny Rock Painting Tutorial, I'm going to show you how I add another feature to this rock, but this time I'm going to, instead of be using uh, paper uh, rub-on transfers that I make, I'm going to use a stencil to add some depth to this rock. Um, so I've chosen to add a butterfly. I already have the stencil. I had purchased it a long time ago. I used to stencil all the time, so I have a lot of stencils. And um, I just thought it would be really cute to add like a little butterfly right around this area because I have a stencil about that size. So please forgive the condition of the stencil. It's really not in great condition because I didn't clean it well, but Anyway, I'm just going to show you. I'm going to add it to the rock. I'm going to place it where I want it on the rock. And then I'm going to use a little bit of scotch tape just to hold it down while I use my pen to um, go through the lines. And now, of course, you can do a regular stencil process with this and just pounce the paint on. But a lot of times I don't like to do it like that. You can use a stencil just to draw. All right. so. That being said, I'm just going to show you really quick how I outline this butterfly. And all you do is just take a pen and I'm going to use a different pen. Yeah, that's better. Um, and just go through all the little pieces of the butterfly or whatever stencil you're using. Press your pen to the outside. You don't have to make it dark because you're going to color this in with markers or paint or whatever you choose. It's just to give you an outline. And adding something like this to your rock can really add a lot of depth and reality to the picture itself. Also, I think it adds character and makes the painting your own. So it goes to the creation of a rock painting. Um, I'm going to link some of the supplies that I'm using in the video box, video description box below. Uh, so you can check those out too. Um, you know, it's a personal choice. Of course, you're not going to want to make it just like this, but you don't really want to copy anyone's work, but it's okay to get ideas from people and embellish them and make them your own. I, I think that's totally okay. Um, so please refer to the other parts of this video series to learn how I got to this point in this rock creation. And there you have it. I think I got most of the lines. What I didn't get, I'm going to just fill in. I'm going to remove the stencil now. And there, I have a great outline of a butterfly. And I'm just going to fill that in with my markers. I may or may not make another video on how to do that and how I add the color to this rock. If I do, that'll be in part nine. Thank you so much. Please like and subscribe. Take care.